Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Lady Diva and I'm coming to you today on Motivational Monday, Transitional Tuesday, today. And I'm going to be talking today on the subject of keep living. If you like to hear what I have to say today on the subject of keep living, then please stay tuned. Good morning, everybody, and I'm so happy to be back with you guys here. I am back in California. The Diva Pillow is in the background, along with my purse, y'all. Forgive me. But anyways, um, back home and here back with our Motivational Monday. And this particular Motivational Monday is going to be dedicated to my family back in Illinois on last Thursday when I did return from Illinois here to California. We did receive word that my Aunt Effie passed away. And so I dedicate my motivational Monday today to my Aunt Effie and the words that dropped into my heart, into my spirit to minister to you guys today was keep living. And the reason I say keep living is because my Aunt Effie was a wonderful woman. She was 87 years old when she passed. And I found out through my cousin that when my Aunt Effie did pass away the night before, she was singing hymns and she was singing praises unto God. And so I believe in my heart that her transition to glory was one of joy and it was one of peace. And I was so glad to also know that my auntie did not suffer. And although I was not able to make the services, her viewing is today and her funeral services, her homegoing celebration services, I will call them, are tomorrow. My heart is with my family back home. And so I want everybody to know that yes, trials and tribulations come, death comes, bereavement comes, grief comes, rejection comes, hurt comes, anger comes, you know, loss comes. And, but we have to keep living. We have to keep our eyes on the prize. We have to be focused on continuing on the legacy and continuing on building on the foundation that was set before us. My Aunt Effie um, was the first person that got me on to hair care. Hair care. <laughs> she was a beautician. And every other Saturday, my mom and my sisters and I would go to my Aunt Effie's uh, salon in her basement and she would do my mother's hair and I would watch and she would have gospel music playing and, you know, just watching her in her business and her skill was such a blessing. And I'm able to reflect on those memories now on what an entrepreneur she was and the things that were instilled in me from my Aunt Effie that have helped make me the woman I am today. I too love beauty and skincare. I love taking care of the outer as well as the inner. She was a Christian. She loved God and how her house was always in order. And I make sure those certain things are in my house as well. And so Aunt Effie was a woman of wisdom, a woman of love, a woman of power, a woman of prayer. Um, but she was also a skilled woman. And I love her so much for that. And the last time I saw my Aunt Effie was in 2014. And she was in the uh, stages of Alzheimer's and she didn't remember a lot of things and she didn't remember a lot of people. Now, mind you, I hadn't seen my aunt for over 20 years prior to 2014 when I went home for that family reunion, but I got to see my aunt Effie at the picnic and I went up to her and I talked to her and I just wanted her to remember me. And you know, sometimes when you deal with people who have Alzheimer's, they have that blank stare in their eyes because they don't remember. They're not, there's not a connection. But when I looked into my Aunt Effie's eyes and I smiled and I laughed and I hugged her and I said, Aunt Effie, it's me, Danielle. Do you remember me? And she looked at me and the glazed look wasn't there, you know, and she said, Danielle, I said, Annie's daughter. And she laughed and I said, do you remember? I said, I remember when I was little, I said, and we would come to your basement and you would do my mom's hair in your beauty salon in my, in your basement. And she stopped for a second. And she started laughing and she goes, I remember the basement salon. And I began to cry because she remembered me and she remembered that memory. And so I know that in my heart, you know, that God will keep connections, you guys. And so for my Aunt Effie, for my aunts that went before me, for my grandmother, you know, for my family, we must keep living. For those of you who are dealing with loss and those of you who have lost parents and I have subscribers who have lost parents and those that are dear to them and those that help make them who they are today, um, we got to keep living, y'all. We got to keep smiling because we have to remember the foundation upon which we build and upon which we stand and be proud of that. And they would want us to keep living and not living in depression and oppression and anxiety and fear. My people are fearless people. My family is fearless and we strive and we survive and we thrive. And I know that's what, what God most of all would have for us. You know, he would not want us to sorrow, but he would want us to 
have joy and continue moving forward. And that's what I got to teach my children and my grandchildren, you know, to keep living no matter what y'all keep living, keep the dream alive, keep your hopes alive, keep soaring above life's problems and situations that would want to hold you down. Keep moving forward. Keep taking one step and one day at a time. I know I'm helping somebody right there when it looks like all is lost and that there's nobody there for you and you're by yourself and you're isolated and all these different types of things. I'm here to let you know that God has given you a spirit of life and that more abundantly move forward, push forward. Loss is not the end because that means there is something else for you to gain. Come on, somebody. A closed door is not the end because believe me when I tell you a window or another door will open. Defeat is not the end because victory is always around the corner and it's bigger than the defeat that you face. Come on, somebody. Sickness is not the end because there is a healing that's going to come and deliver you into greatness. And so I want you guys to know on today that although when you lose something or lose someone, or something slips out of your grip, or if you face divorce and you're a single mom, or if you face losing a very special friendship that you thought would last forever, or those people misunderstand you and don't understand you and they want to disconnect from you, I'm helping somebody right there, know that you must keep living because just around the corner, there is something great for you. There is light at the end of the tunnel. There is peace at the end of confusion. There is a rainbow at the end of your storm. And I want you to know that God will always bring something better to you. Always, always, always. This is Lady Diva coming to you with a motivational Monday, transitional Tuesday, whatever you want to call it, thankful Tuesday with keep living. Don't stop living. Don't stop breathing. Don't stop exhaling. And most of all, don't stop moving forward one step at a time. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Rest in peace, rest in love, and Effie, we love you. Bye-bye.